This broken down motorhome has been Gordon and Bill's address for the past six years. And this is their only relief from the winter cold, which gets down to minus four. It's a biscuit tin. It's warm. Yeah. Well, it's good to a point. About 50 people are living rough around Windsor, just an hour out of Sydney's CBD. Most of them live in tents on the Hawkesbury River floodplain. Yeah. Compared to others, we're one of the lucky ones. Yeah. With all the other homeless around here, their tents are always getting slashed or hoons run them down with their cars, but um, they can't run a truck down. Bill and Gordon are living proof there's no such thing as a typical homeless person. We had a home down in Sydney. Two units? Uh, two, yeah, two investment units. One we still had a mortgage on. The other one we own, and we decided to have a sea change from the city to country living. Uh, well, it's like going on the Titanic. <laughs> they sold their home to go into business, but couldn't turn a profit, and then Bill got sick. So we just had to close up straight away. We didn't have a chance to sell it. We just let it go. So, you know, well, I mean, here was the main concern. Without an income to pay off their debts, Gordon and Bill were eventually forced to sell their investment properties. I think a lot of people have a misconception of homelessness. It can happen to anybody. Everybody is three steps off homelessness. In the latest census, about 116,000 Australians were considered homeless and more than 8,000 of them were sleeping rough. In this area, the wait for public housing is five to ten years. For those who are hungry, Linda is an angel. Just over seven years ago, we were at home one night and we heard someone going through our rubbish bin for food. And my daughter, who was eight at the time, couldn't understand how anybody could be that hungry. So that night we decided that we'd try and do something about it. Their first meal service attracted seven people. Now Linda has a whole team serving hot food, up to 100 people at a time, three times a week. Lunch is ready! There's people out in our community starving and knowing what I know now, I couldn't actually live with myself. Without Linda, we'd be screwed big time. Those little darlings eat a lot. Desserts ready! Linda's crew also organises groceries, bedding and tents. If we come and clean this up, next, the next person, we can, they'll have a ready-made campsite. Yeah. But some locals say her work discourages people from helping themselves. In this day and age, I find with the social services that people have available to them, there's not a good reason for it, you know. I think that the people do it by choice. If there's a guy living on his own under the bridge, he's going to front up for the food, even though it's got enough money to buy his own. Some people might call us enablers, but if somebody comes to us for help, we're not going to turn them down. I think people need help when they're at their lowest. Thank you very much, Linda. Well Everyone's so polite today. I'm not even getting any marriage proposal. It's about supporting people so they can then get back on their feet. That's something Gordon and Bill are determined to do. At the moment, we're trying desperately to save. We'll get out of it. Oh, yeah. It'll take us a long time, but we'll get out of it.